The question uh, we have for you today, guys, is do you believe the Word of God is true? Hey guys, air quotes here. So I came across a couple of videos of some Christians proving that the Bible is the Word of God. You may be wondering how that's possible. Well, it's easy. First, you need to find a random person or two on the streets. Before we continue, I, I need to get a, a general idea as to where you're at as far as what you know about the Bible. It's not a quiz, not going to try to embarrass you or anything, but I, I don't know you guys, and so I just want to get a general idea of, as to what you know. Then you ask them some elementary questions about the Bible, which they don't know the answers to, in order to make them feel like idiots. You know the story of a global flood, right? There's a story of a global flood in the Bible. And a man allegedly built a large boat, an ark. Who was that? Ah, I forgot his name, though. I know who it is. Roderick? Noah. Okay. All right. Noah. Two main divisions in the Bible. What are they? Two main divisions? Yeah. Uh, the Bible is divided into two major sections. What are they? Oh, um... Julian, any idea? Old and New Testament. Okay, very good. All right, main character. There's a main character in the four Gospels. Who is that? Moses. And Julian, what do you think? Uh, Moses. Okay, that's actually Jesus. Having established that they know nothing about the Bible, you read them an obscure passage from the good book and ask them what it's about. Okay, all right. Now, I want to, uh, I want to share with you something out of the book of Isaiah. All right, I just want to read it to you. And I want you to tell me uh, who this is about, okay? It says this, he was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his stripes we are healed. Who do you think that's talking about, Roderick? Jesus. Julian, a different answer or would you agree? I agree. Funnily enough, they both say it's about Jesus. How would they have gotten that idea? Main character. There's a main character in the four Gospels. Who is that? Moses. And Julian, what do you think? Uh, Moses. Okay. That's actually Jesus. Jesus. All right. That's right. The answer to the previous question was also Jesus. And you made sure to stress that point to them. Ah, the power of suggestion. It's almost supernatural. 